Hey everyone. So I was thinking about what to talk about today and then the subject came to mind to talk about grief because this is a time of year where a lot of people are lonely and it's also a time when a lot of people are grieving. There are people that we knew who celebrated Christmas with us growing up that will not be with us this year and we're gonna have to grieve this season over that. Probably the biggest case of grief I've ever had to experience personally was losing my grandmother a few years ago and I remember adjusting to it slowly but surely and what was interesting is that when she died it was weird because I knew she was dead but it was like I don't know there was just something that that refused to acknowledge that and at this point I was still in high school and what I would do is after the final bell rang uh, before I would go to work I would always quickly go grab some lunch and then go stop by her house and sit down with her for about half an hour to an hour and then I would head on to work well after she passed away I, again it's interesting because I knew she was dead I mean I knew that you know I wasn't denying the fact that she was dead at least I didn't think I was but I caught myself one day after she had passed, I went and got my lunch after school, or you know, lunch at 3.15, after 3.15, and I went to her house, and just sitting in her driveway, in my car, it all adjusted, mentally, emotionally, in every way you could imagine right then and there, that she wasn't there anymore. And I understood, at that point, I had accepted, you know, the fact that she was gone and I haven't seen her at another Christmas ever since. At the end of 2020, I lost one of my cousins to cancer. The next month in January of 2021, her mom, one of my aunts, also died of cancer. I've probably lost more people these last four to five years more loved ones due to cancer a lot of people in my family have died of cancer loss is so real and how we grieve over these losses I mean it's just it's worth talking about especially during the holiday season because all of those people that we grew up with that we loved these cousins these aunts these uncles in some cases these you know our moms and our dads that were there with us when we were children they're not there anymore. They're not at the Christmas tree on Christmas Day anymore. They're just not there. And, you know, this is a season of grief for just about all of us. It's a season of thankfulness. It's a season of grieving. It's just a complicated season. A Christian has this hope that life does not end here but instead life never ends. Any who die in Christ, they will be with Christ forever. All of these people who have gone on, who were resting in Jesus Christ, trusting in his finished work for the security of their souls, they are with Jesus right now. And that's the hope that we have those of us who are resting in Christ, those of us who walk by faith in Christ, those of us who walk continually dependent on his finished work at the cross of Calvary. We have this hope that one day, not only will, be, will we be with these people once again, but we'll be with Jesus forever. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop that. So in this season of grief, a lot of, I'm, I'm pretty sure just about all of us have somebody that we're going to be grieving over um, this Christmas. For me, mainly it's going to be my grandmother and then some, uh, but you know what? We have a blessed hope. We know that Jesus is with us. We know that Jesus is with us throughout the storms of this life to give us comfort, to strengthen us, to keep us. And you know what? 
it's all going to be worth it one day because one day we shall see Jesus. And the Bible teaches that we will be like him. We will experience his glory firsthand. We will experience his holiness firsthand. That day is coming. As long as heaven awaits, better days are always ahead for a child of God. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, I have to encourage you to step into that relationship, man. The Bible simply says that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. And their house, God can use you. He can move through you to save your entire family. It's possible. So maybe if you are grieving, if you are lonely this season and you have no one to turn to, I'm going to encourage you to try Jesus. I'm not trying to sound like some cliche, charismatic, evangelical, whatever you want to call it. But this is more than religious dogma. This is the truth. This is what God has given you and I to believe in and to rest in is Jesus Christ and him crucified. So trust in the Lord today, whether you're a Christian or not, trust in the Lord and everything is going to be all right.